And what we've seen over the years is that type 2 diabetes adversely affects the skeleton. Women with type 2 diabetes are more likely to fracture or break their bones, including their hip, including sites outside of the spine. Women with type 2 diabetes are more likely to have high levels on their bone density test, which is a problem because it's somewhat falsely reassuring. So women with type 2 diabetes have a bone density that looks good, yet they're more likely to break their bones. And why this is is actually still something that we are researching. We think it has to do with high levels of sugar, and the high levels of sugar adversely affect the skeleton in ways bone density cannot measure. What we've learned from our research is that those with type 2 diabetes can keep their bones healthy by keeping their blood sugars under good control. Hemoglobin A1c, which is the average of blood sugar over three months, we've seen that the higher that hemoglobin A1c is, the worse the skeletal health is, the lower the bone material strength is, the increased risk of fractures is higher as the hemoglobin A1c climbs.